Why Assassin's Creed Mirage Won't Prevent Future RPGs The Assassin's Creed Mirage gameplay is set to take the series back to where it began, social stealth, fast parkour, and agile assassinations. Ubisoft Bordeaux says that there's a bit of every Assassin's Creed game in Mirage, and players can look forward to going back to the roots of the series while experiencing a modern take on gameplay and iconic features of the early games. This narrower focus, particularly when compared to Assassin's Creed Valhalla, will be complemented by a narrative driven approach to progression and a more contained map to explore. Assassin's Creed, codename Red, is the working title for an upcoming installment in the Assassin's Creed series, being a part of the Assassin's Creed Infinity platform. The game is set in Japan and will be helmed by Ubisoft, Quebec. According to the series vice president executive producer Mark Alexis Coty, codename Red will take place in feudal Japan and allow players to experience a very powerful shinobi fantasy. It will also return to the newer style action RPG style games. The Assassin's Creed Mirage setting is 9th century Baghdad, with the time period beginning in the year 861, the Golden Age, a few decades before the events of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Artistic director Jean Luc Sala says that at this time, Baghdad was effectively at the center of the world and a key place for knowledge, art, innovation, science, commerce, and power. As 9th century Baghdad was effectively destroyed five centuries later, Ubisoft looked to historical documentation and other cities of the time, such as Samara, to recreate Baghdad with as much accuracy as possible. Ubisoft has its reasons for planning more Assassin's Creed RPGs after Mirage, the most important of which is money. Despite a subset of fans having issues with the direction Ubisoft has taken the series, many others have celebrated it. In fact, the newer Assassin's Creed games have not only been some of the most successful in the series, but in the developer's history. Valhalla became the highest-earning Assassin's Creed game in early 2022 when it grossed over $1 billion, and according to Ubisoft's 2021-22 fiscal earnings report, it also became the developer's second-largest profit-generating game before 2022. This goes to show that the new, RPG-styled Assassin's Creed installments have a dedicated fan base who are willing to buy the games and their DLCs. Deviating from the new formula now could mean missing out on further record-breaking growth for Ubisoft and the series. Assassin's Creed Japan will be the next major game in the Assassin's Creed franchise following the success of 2020's Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Developer Mark Alexis Cote, who has served as both creative director and producer on some of the best Assassin's Creed games, described Codename Red as Ubisoft's next premium flagship title before teasing that it will be the future of our open-world RPG games on Assassin's Creed. The conceptual title of the game was first leaked on September 6, 2022 and reported by Bloomberg who also noted that this game, as well as Assassin's Creed, Hex, will likely not release until 2024 at the earliest. It was later confirmed at the Ubisoft Forward livestream during its Assassin's Creed showcase, alongside a short teaser. Assassin's Creed has explored no fewer than 10 different locations around the world since the series made its debut 15 years ago, but it has never ventured into Japan, until now that is. Mark Alexis Cote says that Assassin's Creed codename Red setting will let players explore one of their most awaited settings ever on the franchise, feudal Japan where we'll finally get the chance to live a very powerful shinobi fantasy. Ubisoft is yet to confirm the exact period of history we'll be roaming around, although knowing that Assassin's Creed Japan is actually happening is enough to keep our curiosity satiated for now.